The Melbourne Warner has been a race I've wanted to put on my CV for a long time. It's such a historic race. Um, it's got a lot of um, reputation from overseas uh, as well. So um, the honour roll is pretty, pretty spectacular. So to, to put my name on the honour roll uh, would be an amazing achievement. Yeah, certainly it's, it's hard to go back to back. It's never been done before. Um, but I'm really excited to give it a try and make some history. Oh, we're in for a, for a long day. I think it's, it's 270k, so we've got a fair bit of time to find our legs. But uh, we're, we've come here, when we're not making numbers up, we're here to, to play a big part in this race and, and we're all motivated and keen to get across the line first. This is a one day race, you know, and anything can happen. It's, it's pretty flat, there's no really selective hills or areas where the race is going to split, so yeah, anything can happen, but you know, we've got eight guys that can win it and hopefully we come away with that this afternoon. You know, it's not just the physical aspect of the day, it's about mentally preparing yourself in preparation for the event and throughout the day, the, over the eight hours of racing, you know, really uh, focusing on that last goal. Very early start of the Werribee Equestrian Centre this morning. Over 200 riders were going to tackle 273 kilometres from Melbourne through to Warrnambool. They had to go through Lismore and over a nasty climb at Camperdown. The race today is a race of two breakaways. The first breakaway going at 25 kilometres. It had around nine riders in it. The break went out to over 11 minutes. It had world champion Glenn O'Shea in there. It had NRS superstar Pat Shaw going very nicely. Obviously an early move and we've got the time gap we wanted and we got it easy early, which is what I wanted. We motivated the guys but we knew that the bunch back there would be stressed. They stayed clear over the top of the climb at Camperdown, which was won by Sam Hill. Yay! They descended off the top, but by this stage, the Drapak cycling team had decided to get themselves together and start to chase. They dragged 18 men off the front of the bunch. They were doing all they could to get that break back into the bunch. We were never too worried about that breakaway. You know, it's, a, it's 280 k is a long, long way into a blockhead wind. Um, but yeah, certainly it was a, a big gap um, and it would look pretty daunting to most. At around 221 kilometres, it all came back together. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief, they had a drink, and then before you knew it, they were back into it again. 12 riders being dragged off the front of the bunch by Sam Horgan, the defending champion. Like I, I really wanted a move to go. I was afraid it wouldn't um, with that headwind. You know, it was a big bunch um, still after the camper down climb. Um, but yeah, I, I tried to be as aggressive, aggressive as, as possible. He had his teammate Jake Kaufman with him, but he also had the very fast Alex Edmondson and the little known Oliver Kent Spark from Health.com search to retain. You know, there's a few passengers and I think obviously a few tired legs. It's just a massive, massive race that we don't really, we never really race anywhere near it throughout the year. Um, and then, yeah, there's kind of, you know, one twos going off and it finally split up into that last little group that um, came together at the finish. Certainly me and Jake, we, we, we tried to be as aggressive as possible. Um, neither of us really wanted to sprint. Both of us wanted to go to the line solo, um, so we took turns and, and trying to get away. Um, but the other guys in the break were strong, they shut us down each time and it came down to a group finish. 
these riders started to attack each other, doing all they could. The brake got whittled down towards the finish and the bunch came at 100 mile an hour. Avanti with their big sprinter Brenton Jones tried to bring it all back together for the sprint but they just missed out. Uh, we were yeah, 25 metres off the rear of them so you know, we yeah, left it you know, 10 seconds too long so too late and uh, that's, that's racing and over 273 kilometres to, to be 10 seconds off the leading group is um, you know, it's close but that's racing. I, I sat on with Salzberger and Jaden Kopp who were both you know, super strong and made them do all the work until um, I cheekily hit them and got across that front group in the last uh, kilometre. I was kind of yo-yoing off the break, um, or the, the selection if you will, and um, we, we kind of came back together on that little downhill and it was, um, I think it might have even been Alex Edmondson who led the sprint out and kind of half-heartedly then Sam Horgan came pretty solid and I was just, I thought, oh, what's going to happen here? My leg's going to give way. It's, you know, it's 273k. Um, and it, it, it just came off, it just uphill sprint suited me a little bit better than a flat one, so just unbelievable. That was fought out between the world champion Alex Edmondson and the little known Oliver Kent Spark. Well he's known now because he's the Warrnambool champion for 2014. <laughs> the champion for 2014 is Oliver Kent Spark. Unbelievable, I really, I just don't know how to explain it. It's been a, a goal for, from the start of the year and I just, I can't believe this has happened. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. World champion in the pursuit, second place, Alex Edmondson. And in third place, the defending champion, Sam Horgan. I think uh, it's pretty hard to ride 273k and then to, to lose on the line, but hey, uh, I gave it everything I had. I got beaten, but got beaten by a better bike rider, and uh, I take my hat off to Ollie Kent Spartan and Serge Tang guys. They uh, they've had an unbelievable last couple of months. So uh, yeah, he rode unbelievable today, and he deserved the win. The Subaru NRS Series leader is Avanti Racing's Joe Cooper.